Welcome WCC fans to Inside the WCC. With us today is the University of San Francisco junior golfer Domingo Hohola. Welcome Domingo and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. First of all, congratulations on, on winning the WCC championship. Um, obviously you guys won the automatic bid uh, for the NCAA tournament. Um, bring yourself back to the WCC championships when your team uh, captured the first WCC title in 19 years. Um, how did that feel to win the team title and can you just kind of sum up how your team was feeling? Uh, it was a really good feeling. It was, um, as, every, as you well know, it came down to wire and um, our guys played really good the last couple of holes and um, I mean, no one had an idea who won or who lost. I mean, it was really, really close. Um, but fortunate for us, we came out um, victorious and that we're very excited to be in the regionals. Um, it was uh, one of the main goals we had for uh, the team starting the year and uh, we were just happy that we could accomplish uh, that goal. Now individually, uh, last season you finished in 7th place at the WCC Championships. This year you took 2nd place, just one shot behind the individual leader. Um, you also took medalist honors earlier this season. Um, what do you attribute uh, your success to this season as opposed to last season? Well, I've been working hard um, uh, throughout the year. Um, I want to give a lot of thanks to um, the members and staff out at Lake Merced Country Club for allowing me to practice and play there. Um, my swing coaches uh, had a huge influence on my game, uh, Dan McBride, and um, the strength and conditioning also has uh, been a big part of uh, me playing better this year. Now, looking forward to this Thursday, uh, what is your team's mentality as you guys enter, enter into the NCAA Regional, um, especially with it being USF's second uh, appearance at the Regionals in program history? Well, I think a lot of the pressure is, um, is not, we don't really, we don't have much pressure for us. I mean, not, no, one's expect, no one expected us to be even in the Regionals and much less to move on. So um, we're just going to go out there and uh, we've seen the golf course plenty of times. Um, it's one of our home golf courses, so we're familiar with um, the greens and where to miss and where's the right spots to be and um, we're just going to go out there and um, go out there and have fun and hopefully we can uh, we can get it done and move on uh, like you mentioned san francisco will be hosting the regional event at lake merced golf club in daly city uh, you mentioned that you guys have played on the course several times before how much of an advantage is that for you guys um, to be competing on one of your home courses and uh, how are we going to use that to your advantage going in on this thursday Oh, I think it's a gr really big advantage um, just for the simple fact that we're comfortable with uh, our surroundings and um, with the green complexes and, you know, which way certain certain greens break and which way they don't break. Um, just being comfortable out there is, is going to be a, a big advantage over some of the schools who, who are only going to get to see the golf course one time. Um, like Mer said, the a pretty demanding golf course and um, I think uh, just being comfortable out there is, uh, is a big key to success. Now you guys are coming off a, a big win at the WC Championship. Can you talk about that momentum that you guys have from that championship and how will you guys use that to your advantage going in on Thursday and what's the team feeling like going into the regional? Well, um, I think we're all doing pretty good right now. Everyone on the team is uh, pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, their heads are clear, and we're all hitting it pretty good right now. Um, we know that we can uh, compete with the with the best teams out there. We I think we beat some pretty good teams at a conference. Um, we Pepperdine and San Diego, who are uh, two uh, really good teams. Who uh, I think we'll see San Diego here this week. I'm not sure about Pepperdine, but we know that um, you know when all our guys play well, we can uh, we can play with the best of them, and that's what we're hoping for uh, coming this Thursday. Well, Domingo, thank you for joining us today, and obviously good luck to you and the Dons this week. Thank you very much for your time. That does it for this edition of Inside the WCC. Fans log on to WCCSports.com for your latest news, videos, podcasts, and exclusive merchandise.